Bengals at the Jaguars. Man, I bet when ESPN was booking this game and they said, Joe Burrow and Trevor Lawrence, we can't wait. Uh, yeah, no, not to be. Uh, Jacksonville was a, was about a touchdown favorite on the look ahead. Obviously, we've seen that move uh, towards the home favorite. The Bengals and the Jake Browning era did not look fantastic uh, against the Steelers on Sunday. They lost, didn't cover. Uh, but thank you for covering the teaser number. We appreciate that late field goal. Um, and Jacksonville looked good, right? They go on the road. They beat Houston, a team that they have uh, struggled to beat in the division over the last few years. And they, they got the monkey off their back, albeit they needed the crossbar at the end to get across the finish line. Besides the teaser angle, Chris, that we alluded to a little earlier in the show, and Fez, I think you um, also liked that spot. It, it, it seems like Jacksonville, um, I would guess, um, that, that they're in, in line to cover this number. But what, what does your power rating say about the post burrow Bengals here against the Jags? Yeah, so Chris, I've got the Norfez. I got the Bengals. One. I'm the power rating guy. Focus. I'm thinking about that's I'm thinking right. About like chess. I'm, I'm thinking about like the fried liver attack and the Dracula Frankenstein variation. There's some very cool names of chess openings. Um, the Bengals. I have 26th in the league. Five points worse than an average team. And I gotta give Bet US a lot of credit here. They're dealing minus nine on this game. They're the high man on the marketplace. And they're basically saying, you can tease it against us. We have really good teaser odds, but uh, we're going to make it minus nine. You're going to have to put this into a six and a half point teaser to get it down to minus two and a half. So Bet US is basically telling you where to go on this game, that you should be teasing Jacksonville. And again, with all these favorites covering and clobbering their bad opponents in these island games and the Bengals with no quarterback and no defense lately, that is the only way I can go. I've got Jacksonville in teasers. Um, I did not zone out. Uh, you said Steve, didn't you? No, Jim? you're right. No, that I, I, I totally botched that toss. I was doing so. I was pitching a perfect game until the ninth inning, and I just you were, it. you were, Jesus. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I like the Jaguars here. Uh, you know, they were a temporary number one seed uh, during uh, Sunday before Baltimore won Sunday night, and uh, hard to believe because they they aren't that good. Uh, but uh, they're solid enough. Uh, I, I worry a little bit that they don't really, they kind of uh, are kind of iffy at home, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. What the? Uh, bu- 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 they're only 3-3 three and three at home, and they're 5-0 and oh on the road. So yep. you don't get their best game at home. But uh, even if, I think Higgins is going to be back in the lineup this week. I don't know how much help he's going to be for Cincinnati, but... Cincinnati's chances, uh, it's going to be tough for them going forward. Uh, They're playing for pride here going forward. I think that they can kind of keep that game close. My numbers say that it's okay to to lay the eight and a half, nine that it is, but I'm certainly not going to go that route. Uh, I put them in some um, money line parlays uh, when the numbers were lower, when the lines first opened up. I have... uh, parlays and teasers uh, from the early games. Uh, and uh, when one of those front legs loses, I'm going to be in the YouTube channel and I'm probably going to replace them with a play into Jacksonville somehow. Uh, I will definitely have a Jacksonville teaser some way, somehow. Uh, and uh, I will post it in the YouTube comments. You don't yeah, have Bengals. The Bengals, here. The Bengals ahead, defense. We, we, we have to, I'm sorry to interrupt the, uh, we have no, to comment good. on the, the Steelers never get more than like 300 yards and they got 400 against that Bengals defense, which uh, is beyond disturbing because the defense should be picking up when their quarterback is out. Right, Jared? So yeah. um, the, the Bengals are in free fall. Yeah. And you mentioned Higgins questionable possibility of playing this week, but the bigger concerns on the other side, Logan Wilson, who's like their best tackling linebacker also banged up his ankle in that Pittsburgh game on Sunday. So not only is Cincinnati behind the eight ball because of just the absurd gap in quarterback edge here between Lawrence and Browning, but their defense is also a little bit nicked up. So um, I, it seems like we're all kind of in consensus. You figure out a way to get Jacksonville on your card this week. The cleanest way is that six and a half point teaser to get it under three, but you want to get creative, go ahead. The Jaguars um, in pretty decent shape to take care of business at home on Monday night.